It's said that only 95% of people who get into affiliate marketing will actually be successful. And in this video, I want to share with you why that's a complete lie and that you can be successful with affiliate marketing if you're willing to put in the work. So ask yourself, how bad do you want to be successful with affiliate marketing? Do you want to just dabble or actually get results? <laughs> Hey, I'm Travis with Co Nation World, and if you haven't done so already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of new videos that I make where I talk about how to grow and scale a successful online business with affiliate marketing and how to develop the right habits and belief systems that are absolutely required in any business to be successful. First, I want to start by sharing my story about why I even started affiliate marketing and hopefully give you some inspiration that you can do this too. You see, I used to jump around a lot going from business to business, job to job, and I never really knew what I wanted to do. I even went to college and did a couple years there and I never graduated because I still didn't know what I really wanted to do and I didn't really like what I was doing, so I got out of college. I realized college just wasn't for me. And then from college, I eventually got into door-to-door -door sales, which kicked off my entrepreneurial journey. And I didn't really like doing door-to-door -door sales, but I will say that if you can do door-to-door -door sales, then you can pretty much do anything. From there, I started wholesaling houses. And the cool thing about doing door-to-door -door sales, it kind of built up my skills for wholesaling houses. I was still going door-to-door, -door, but not quite as much, but I still needed that skill. But bottom line, I didn't really like wholesaling houses either. And then from wholesaling houses, I got into wholesaling diabetic supplies. And that really didn't require door-to-door, -door, but it did require face-to-face -face business with clients. And you can guess what happened after I got into that for a while. I did it for about a year and yes, I wanted out. That particular business, I didn't really find it very rewarding. It was paying me the best money I'd ever made at that time, but it just really wasn't rewarding. I didn't feel like I was adding value to people. So what I learned from all this jumping around is that you just have to stick to one thing and do it. It doesn't really matter what it is, just do it. Yes, you do want it to be something that you're passionate about and you find rewarding, or at least something that you can feel good about doing. And a lot of the things that I'd done previously, I did feel good about doing, but for whatever reason, I just wasn't willing to commit to them, which is what it really takes to be successful in any business. I learned that you have to put all your eggs in one basket and go all in on that one thing until you get your desired result. Through all the jumping around that I did, I thought it would be the next big thing or that I would actually enjoy doing it. But the truth is, is that it was all just a big distraction for me actually taking responsibility for my own life. And today, I'm a strong believer that you create your own life. You can choose to be the victim and keep making excuses as to why you're not where you want to be, or you can take responsibility for your own life, make a commitment, and take action and start working towards your goal every day. Your past does not dictate who you are today and fear of the future only keeps you from taking responsibility for your own life. You have to live in the moment and start creating your own future by taking positive action now and follow it up with consistency. Practice doing whatever it is that you're trying to do and practice it every day. Now just be warned that over the course of practicing consistency and taking positive action, you will fall back into your old ways of victim thinking. but what separates the victims from the people who succeed are that they challenge those thoughts and consciously make the decision to let them go and create the life they truly want. Successful people aren't worried about what other people think of them and they know that it's okay that other people don't have to like them, while the victim is always worried about what other people think of them. And when you can shift from what kind of value can I bring instead of what other people think of me, then you can start to focus on creating instead of living in the fear and replaying the past. So here's just a little bit about why and when I finally started affiliate marketing. Now, like I said earlier, you know, my, my current business at the time of wholesaling diabetic supplies, I just didn't feel rewarding. I didn't feel like I was adding value to people and I just was getting burnt out on it. My bills were getting paid at the time, but I didn't have a lot of extra money to do things that I really wanted to do. Like if I wanted to just go take a vacation whenever I wanted to, or if I wanted to go see my family, you know, I was always worried about what if my business tanks? What am I going to do then? I don't have a lot of money in the bank. And so I wanted to find something that would 
make my life sustainable and give me the financial freedom that I could do what I want when I wanted. And I knew it would take a lot of hard work, commitment, and focus. I also had to stay consistent and repeatedly do the same actions every single day that would lead me to success. And trust me, consistency is key. The more you do something, the easier it gets and it eventually feels less foreign. Now, if you haven't started building your own business yet, then ask yourself, what will it take for you to get started and what actions do you need to take? Go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what actions you need to take to get started with your own business. And if you have started your own business but you're not getting results, then drop a comment and let me know what you need to do to start getting results with your business. Now, probably one of the most important things I've learned about affiliate marketing is that it takes time to get results. And you're gonna keep working and you're gonna keep working and it's gonna feel like you're not getting any results. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like working and not getting paid for it. But you have to remember the reality is you are getting paid for it because what you do today is gonna compound three months, six months, a year from now, and it's gonna reward you very well. So stay consistent and keep doing what you're doing. I know for me, the actions that I needed to take to start getting results was to just commit and stop making excuses. I had to stop procrastinating or telling myself that I don't have time. I had to make time. I had to actually take the time to learn the skills necessary to make a profitable business. I started to think about what do I want for my life and then create an action plan on how to get it. I ended up going out and buying a course and getting a mentor that would coach me to actually start getting results for me. But don't get me wrong, my mentor didn't do any of the work for me. I had to do every piece of the work. I committed and said, I'm going to do this until I get results. Now, I wanna just mention real quick that if you're feeling stuck and you're not getting results, then I've got a free training that you can check out. It's in the description below. And when you get that training, I want you to immerse yourself in it and go all in and don't look back. You will eventually get results if you just stay consistent. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of new videos that I make where I talk about how to grow and scale a successful business with affiliate marketing. I hope this video gave you some motivation to go out there and start taking action today. Keep working hard. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.